The Sea Invocation. This is a prayer for the fishermen and it was sung by the girls while the men were out at sea and it's wishing for good weather, good luck and happiness and health and peace. The first line translates as wind of the air, my love's on the sea. Now, if you're looking at this with a view to playing it, you already know your way around the guitar and it's more a case of just looking at the bits which are going to be quite awkward and just giving a couple of tips here and there as to how you might be able to get around them. So from the first section, you've got a half bar at seventh fret and you've got quite an awkward move here from the little finger down on the A to this chord down here, which is a kind of C second inversion. So we're going to go and then you're moving down to a bit of a B minor bit of an E minor. Changes to C and it moves up to a quite a nasty stretch here. You've got your first finger on a G, little finger on a B. So if you can't do that just try going from one to the other until you can play them together. A couple of little chords coming up here and then you come to an E minor at seventh fret which has got a bar at seventh there be an idea to just roll your fingers across the chord. This is quite chordy. Straight up to 12th, that's quite awkward to get right up there to the 12th fret, three fingers on 12th fret there. Bar at 7th. And then you've got this rather awkward looking chord here. C major 7th, it all comes off, and then you've got the same little chords coming up, this time it's got a C shape on top of a 7th fret bar, changes, back to kind of chords, This time you're going to go to a kind of C chord and down to a new minor. And this is preparing for a run through of the next bit of the tune. And I've just got a little harmonic on the end of the phrase. So just very lightly touching your 12th fret of your harmonics. Now to get the next section you need to be very light over the bass strings. The tune is in the bass and if you bang it too hard you'll get too much rattle. So very softly brushing across the strings while your fingers play this kind of whispering accompaniment. I'm trying to sound like the water lapping up against the boats and the waves and all that sort of thing. So you want this quite gentle kind of sound. Now it changes from that to G chord in a very strange place and then this moving down to a kind of suspension here and then this rather awkward chord here you've got to get little finger uh, first and second finger across there and then moving up to a bit of a C chord again in a where you'd normally play a C moving up in thirds and a little suspension here first finger there little finger there down to a C major 7th, but it's actually the same chord but an octave higher, you've got to get right up to 13th, uh, sorry, 15th and 14th frets, and then moving down to a kind of B minor, that's a kind of C, moving down to a bit of a, another C, and then onto an A minor. The next phrase is moving up in thirds, 
to another chord, this time a kind of suspension, moving down to two together at 10th fret, third and fourth fingers, and then you move off all the way down to a kind of it's like a power chord, this is what metal, uh, metal players do. Uh, it's just a sort of, a bit of a G, power chord. Changing it to a bit of a C. Moving up to your third. And your same suspension again. This time you go up to two on 14th fret, this is an E minor. Moving down to a B minor. This time you've got that same chord you had before. Moving down to just one finger down, third finger down, then it changes into an A minor at fifth fret, and then you're moving those thirds up. So you've got to be a bit handy here. You start off with third and uh, first fingers on these two frets, then you slide them up same position you were at before. You've got to be quite quick. And again, really soft across the strings, otherwise they'll rattle. Coming down, B minor, those same two on 10th fret, and then it should start to look familiar. This is the same. Moving off that, you're going to go down to that same kind of power chord. Move up that suspension all the way up to uh, 14th and 15th, down to B minor, and the final time down to that kind of C, kind of another C, this time end on an E minor. And at the very end, just to round it off, play an A chord and try this kind of little roll across the strings where you cross that way and then you drag your third nail back and do the same thing on E minor. So that's A, E minor and just as a little flourish some harmonics. These are called artificial harmonics and you get them by touching in specific parts of the string. This is just above the 12th fret. Touch very lightly with your first finger and play with your third. And then you can get an octave if you go, well there's no frets there but it's actually an octave away, it's another 12 frets if there were 12 frets to go and you've just got to find this by feel really and just go across to get those very high notes at the end just to finish it off. So that's the C invocation.